today I'm going to be making some cupcakes. So let's get right into it. So our first step, like always, is you have to turn your oven on to 180 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's quickly do that. Done. So we turned it on just so I can heat up while we make our stuff ready to put it in there. Um, so for your cupcakes, you will need two eggs, two thirds of a cup of milk, also 150 millilitres, um, two tablespoons or 40 grams of soft butter, and a 12 cup muffin pan. For the frost and you also need ingredients for the frosting, but I'll explain that later. So, number two, step number two, mix. Place chocolate cupcake mix, which is actually in this box. Oh. Some cupcake things to put in your cupcake tray. Powder and chocolate powder. And that's the box empty but need to keep it for the instructions. Okay, step two, mix. Place chocolate cupcake mix, which I think is this. Eggs, milk and butter into the mixing bowl, but we gotta get the measurements correct first. So I'm going to crack the eggs into the mixer now. So we don't you guys. Are you going to see the mixer? Um, let's crack. I need to bring the bin out. You know what? I need to bring the bin out to put the eggshell in afterwards. Whoops. Uh, that crock wasn't really good, but at least I got no eggshell in there. One egg. Now, second egg. done. Now let's quickly dry my hands. Okay, I'm back. Next step. Now that we've got the two eggs in there, we need two, two thirds of a cup of milk. So, quick laps and I'll be back with the milk. Two thirds of a cup of milk. I got a one third of a cup here, so I'm going to add two of them. Hopefully I don't feel any on the bench, because that would not be good. Let's do it over the bowl. That's one in. Now two. Chop this in the sink. Okay, let me put the milk away. Okay, so now that I've done the milk, next we need, and I'm reading the instructions on the back, just to let you know I'm staring at the box. Um, next I will need 40 grams of soft butter. So I'm going to microwave the butter so it's off, but I need to get some butter out, so I'll be back in like two seconds. And I'm back. So I got some butter, um, scales, and a mug, so I can put it in the microwave. Scales, can you please work? Scales. Hello, are you working? It's not really working, sorry. Okay, now it is. And I need enough back into the Go 
good enough. Be careful with these. They're sharp. Get some butter. Okay, you've got some butter. That was 15 grams of butter, so we need a bit more. Nineteen grams. Getting there slowly. Okay, over halfway now. Oops, I keep smashing it a bit too hard. Big long skinny bit. About twenty-seven, so I need a bit more thicker. Bit. Big thick bit. Uh, pretty big bit. Forty three. That should still be pretty good. Got back up the butter so I can put it back away in the fridge. Put it back away in the fridge. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, now that I've put all my ingredients, wait, no, after softening out the butter. So, grab your 40 grams of butter and just put it in the microwave. I'm just gonna put it in for 20 seconds. And then just put it in. 22. And now for the waiting time. So, what should we do? Okay, so after the butter's done, which will be in a few seconds, um, I'm gonna put it in there. I'm also gonna, and I'm gonna put the chocolate mix in there. Let's go chicken mix butter. Yeah, nice and soft, if you can see. Oh, I don't really want to see there. And pour it in. Okay, so I just put that in the sink. Okay, so now we need to add our chocolate mix. Let me get an, um, a pair of scissors. Put some scissors. Chop, 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 chop. chop. Done. Pour it all in. Whee. Oop, chunk stuck. That's a lot of chocolate mix. It's gonna be very chocolatey. Okay. Using an electric mixer, which is what I've got here. Mix on low speed until ingredients are combined. On, yep, power points on. Just gonna speed one. Slowly coming together. It needs to be on a low speed until ingredients. Sorry, excuse me. Mix on a low speed until ingredients are combined. I'll meet you back when that is done. I'm back. Okay, the ingredients are combined after I mix it on a low speed. Okay, you can mix it on a medium speed for a further two minutes if it looks... Okay, I think I want to mix it on a medium speed for two more minutes. I didn't put it on for the full two minutes, but I think it's looking 
pretty ready now. Okay. Divide batter evenly between 12 patty cases. So, I've got my patty tray out. It says that you'll fit 12 in there, so I use 12. And it also came with, oops, it also came with um, patty, pan, caves, whatever you call them, you know what I mean. The things that like go inside to put the mixture in. Yeah. So here's a time lapse of me doing that. if it's something that I've done wrong or something that is wrong with the company. I've, I'm pretty sure it's probably something wrong with me because I like always stuff things up. So I'm just going to take these three out and I'm going to only bake mine. So after you've derived them, bake for 20 to 25 minutes. Cupcakes are baked if they spring back when lightly touched in centre, allowed to cool for five minutes prior to transferring onto cooling rack. Okay, so let's put them in the oven. I'll quickly do that. And be careful, the oven is hot. Done. So now we have to wait. Oh, I forgot to set a timer. Let's set one. Done, set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, now I need to get out a cooling. Don't save time for 20 minutes. Now time to wait. And what I'd suggest to do in the time while your cakes are baking in the oven is to start cleaning up so you don't have to do that afterwards. So, yeah. I know it isn't the most exciting thing, but I don't know. It just helps time fly by when the cupcakes are baking. So, See when I've done that. So the cupcakes are doing pretty good so far. We've got 12 minutes left. Yeah, they're pretty good, popping up pretty high. Yep, see you back when they're done. So the cupcakes are baked now and they're just sitting on a cooling rack so they're not too hot when I put the icing on. Okay, so now it's time to make the frosting. So the stuff you need is two teaspoons or ten of milk and 40 grams of soft butter. So let's do the butter first. So got my scales on, on, hello, on, okay, put the mug on, oops, put the mug on, tear. Okay, so grab the butter. Use the same butter as I used for the cupcakes. We need 40 grams, same as before. Get some big chunks. Pretty squeaky there. And I bang on that. Hope this is pretty close to 40. 33, not too bad. Pretty good guess. Oops. Done. Okay. Butt produces about 7 grams. 41, that was 8 grams. So it's still did pretty good. Pretty good, got there pretty quick. I'm like last time when I took like 10 cups to get there. Didn't do that well. Okay. And it needs to be soft, so last time when I put it in there for 20, I'm just going to put it in there for 10. 
Okay, done. Let's wait for that. Uh, shells, you can be turned off. Scales, turn off. Okay, the butter is now done and soft. Okay, um, empty the frosting. Wait. It was comes with frosting it, so I'm going to go get some skins to open it. Whoop! I'm back with some scissors. So, right off. This is the first. Now pour it into the mixing bowl, and this is a new mixing bowl than before. Um, yeah, pour that in. Then the rice pile, pour the 40 grams of butter in, soft butter, plop, put that in the sink. Okay, now we need the 10 more liters of milk. Let me go get that. Come back with milk. 10 more liters, so just a dash. Yeah, let's put in a bit more. Yeah. Hopefully, I didn't add in too much. If you know me, I probably added in too much or not enough. Now, let's go put the milk away. Okay, I'm back. Put the milk away. Okay, so I have to put use an electric mixer. Mix on slow speed until ingredients are combined. And then mix on medium speed for a further two minutes. Can you guys see this pretty well? Can you turn me so I can see it better? There you go, that's better. Let's go to speed one. So you have to go everywhere. Let's just wait till they can mine now. La 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 la. This is very boring waiting. Hurry up and mix. Hurry up and mix. I'm just going to put it on speed 2, so it goes a bit quicker. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We're spinning very fast. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nearly done, just a few more seconds. Spin around, spin around, spin around, so. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna put it on a higher speed for a bit, like it says, not for too long because it looks pretty ready. I put it on speed four. Nearly there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay, so I think it's nearly about done. Just excuse that butter bit there. It looks pretty good. Looks like full season cream. Okay, so once it's mixed, spread prepared frosting on cooled cupcakes. Okay, so let me, um, two seconds. I'll be back with the spoon because I forgot to get one out before. And then I have to spread them. No, and then I yeah, and then I have to spread them. Sorry. How do I get this off? How do I get this off? I got it off. Let me scoop some of this off. So I'm not wasting any frosting. Frosting's important.
then we just put them in the fence and put this in the sink. Hey, so now I've done that, let me bring the cupcakes over. Y'all, the cupcakes! There's a spoon. Okay, so I'm just going to use a knife to spread them on, not a piping bag, because, I don't know, just don't want to. Ooh. Gotta make sure they have a lot of frosting, because I, lo I love frosting. Comment down below if you can, if you like frosting as well, or give a thumbs up. Like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.